Okay, so it is time to get electricity to this outbuilding. That's up next. Hello everyone, this is Dwayne with Edge of Nowhere Farm and we're coming to you here this morning. It's early May 24th, 2020. So we're here, we have the outbuilding done. I'm gonna go ahead and link that for you here. So now of course we need to get electricity to it. Now we're still deciding exactly what we want as far as electrical needs inside the building. However, one thing we know for sure is we need electricity. As you can see on the ground behind me, hopefully you can pick it, make it out. We've got an extension cord running to the garage door opener right now for Lori. <laughs> so obviously the first thing we're gonna need is definitely some electricity to that. And in order to do that, we need a sub panel in the building. So where I'm at now, we have the house house here we have our main panel which is right here a 200 amp panel that goes in and services the house now what we need to do is we need to get electricity from that main panel over into the outbuilding which actually isn't very far it's about 15 feet or so to get over to the outbuilding and that's ultimately what we're going to try to get accomplished today here we are we're inside the outbuilding you can see through the door that's basically where we were just a moment ago so you can see our main panel there and what we're going to do is bring it down underground and bring it into the building somewhere down in there <laughs> and then have the panel right here which is near the garage door opener and all that great stuff down in the corner we did talk about this during the build um, this is our grounding uh, it's called a ufer or oof or something like that anyways uh, we have this already that's attached to the foundation that'll be part of the process of getting the panel installed and then of course you'll see we have equipment to get this thing up and running so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you now i am not an electrician <laughs> i'm a farmer so when it comes to electrical i've done some basic very very basic electrical work before in the past so what i'm doing today i actually have a neighbor in fact our closest neighbor right across the street actually is a qualified electrician has his own company and so he is going to come over and get this installed for us today I don't know how much footage I'm going to get as far as the actual installation. I'll get as much as I can, as much as he's willing to be on camera. We'll see about that. But either way, I'm going to learn a lot because he's going to let me tag along today and be his assistant. So I get to be the grunt. He gets to tell me what to do and I get to learn a few things in the process. So the goal today, get the panel installed. So first thing I need to do is I need to get a trench dug between the house and the outbuilding. That I do know how to do.
take a quick break. Obviously, we're trying to film as much of this as we can, but Lori's doing something and we're working on this stuff out here. So you can see we have all of the conduit in the ground. So we've got that down. Now you notice it's not very deep and that's actually okay. We got a bunch of ABC that I'm gonna be loading into here and flattening this because we are gonna be building a walkway from this threshold here all the way across over to the driveway. So this is gonna be built up another probably foot or so. So the fact that we're down about eight inches to 12 inches, we got again about two feet down below ground that we'll actually have all these. Either way, the conduit's run, it's ready to go. He's already got his tape to pull wires and he's starting to set the wires out here. So Jake's off taking a break as well, but uh, you can see we've got that going on. Now we do have ground rods. We are gonna be putting ground rods in. Um, we have the UFER, but we just wanna kinda make sure that we've got this grounded really, really well. So we, we will be putting some ground rods in on the outside and then of course, uh, pulling all the wires. So one other thing real quick, I wanna show you the panel that we got installed. Okay, so you can see we have the panel installed here. So obviously a little bit of a challenge uh, as far as getting this thing secured, but it's going absolutely nowhere. So we've got that secured, ready for the wires to come in this way. And then we did actually offset it a bit so we can actually get conduit on the front of all of the framing in here. So it's much easier to run conduit really from any direction out of this box. So. 100 amp box is about ready to get some power here shortly. You're gonna have to only do like two feet at a time. Hold it. Okay. I got some wire. Okay. Keep going. I've uh, got a good amount of wire. Okay, keep going. Okay. All right, hold that. Take a little bit more. All right, hold it. A little bit more. Okay, that's pretty good. Ah, all right, nice. good. You good? Good.
And after a few hours, we are done. So you can see we've got the sub panel in and still gonna do a little bit of painting. Uh, so we've got some work to do there. There's actually one other thing that we weren't able to get to, but wanted to show you guys the sub panel. So this panel has a few uh, circuits already in here, a few breakers already in. So you guys saw us installing it, well, mainly Jake installing it, but we got four 15 amp circuits here and two 20 amp circuits here. What you see us run was actually a 15 amp circuit up to our garage door opener. So we actually have one of these breakers on so that that will work. And we'll have Lori pull in here at the end just to make sure everything's working okay, but I think it's gonna. Either way, you can see we still have plenty of space. So these 15, most of these uh, breakers don't have anything attached, all but one uh, are empty. So we've got plenty of space in here. One thing that we actually weren't able to get to today because unfortunately we were shorted a very thick wire. Let's take a look at that outside. So you can see I actually dug a trench and I, I'm pretty sure I got footage of driving these ground rods into the ground. So we have two more additional grounds. We have the Ufer in there um, and he wanted to put a couple more additional grounds in here just to make sure we weren't going to have any issues there. Um, unfortunately, the wire that we bought never got put into the package for Lori. So he's going to go back. It's actually a supply place that he deals with all the time. So he's going to go back, make sure we get this wire and feed that wire in to include this along with that Ufer to just to make sure that the system's completely grounded. Just wanted to thank Jake. So Jake's a neighbor of ours, but he owns his own electrical company. So Redbird Electric LLC, I'll leave a link down in the description to his contact information. If you have any electrical work that you need, obviously he would be your guy. He did a great job. He's very, very detail oriented. I mean, there was a couple times he went back just to make sure he was bending the pipe perfect and getting all the wires uh, just kind of picture perfect in both the sub panel and our main panel. So very impressed to have a neighbor that's that detail oriented that was fantastic obviously he's going to come back we've got a lot of electrical to add to the building we are going to do overhead lighting and i am going to get a few uh, circuits that are run around so i can get a couple different outlets on the wall just to make sure that we have electricity throughout the building and one other thing that i'm sure Lori is going to be excited about he pretty much talked me into another garage door opener for that far eastern garage so that's gonna happen i think so just want to thank you for joining us today. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. Questions or comments, leave those in the comment section down below. Instagram and Facebook, we post content there you won't see here on the YouTube channel. And our Amazon shop, I'll leave a link down in the description. That's a free painless way to help support the channel. If you start with that link, it doesn't matter what you buy, you help to support us here. So just want to thank you for joining us today and remind you, if we can farm on the edge of nowhere, so can you.